Hey everybody, this is the American Samurai back again with another comic review. Um, we're going to take a look at Long Drawn Silver. This is issue 31, I believe. Yeah, issue 31, published in December 1956. This was a series done by Charlton, Charlton, Charlton Comics. This took over from the, the numbering series from their Terry and the Pirates line. I believe Terry and the Pirates published, published to issue 28. They skipped number 29, and then Long John Silver, which was based on movie, I think it was 1945? I could be wrong about that. 45, or, yeah, I think 1945. It is on YouTube, if you want to look at the movie. Uh, the comic ran for three issues, um, but because of numbering, and taking a number from Terran Pirates, the issues run from 30 to 31 to 32. Instead of from one to three because they were big on low numbers then, and um, Long John Silver is the star of issue thirty, and then thirty one, thirty two he picks up Captain Kidd, and I think I don't know if it was Charlton Comics, but I know later on Captain Kidd has a short run comic series uh, by himself. I think it's only like two issues. I think I reviewed the first issue of that. I believe I reviewed the first issue of that series. Actually, it's right here. Uh, it is in the American Samurai Pirates Adventures playlist, if you want to see my review of this comic. Cheap plug. Mm. Anyways, this has uh, several stories featuring Long John Silver. And, which and this is a reprint in total, so it has the ads, too. For those of you who like the ads, like me. Uh, what's interesting is uh, most of these books are Adventures with Long John Silver. I'm not sure. Some of these do have Jim in them. Some of these don't. So some of these I think are before the events of Treasure Island and some are after the events of Treasure Island. But like, um, uh, one story here, for instance. Uh, Long John Silver and the Crown of the Golden Idol. Jim is actually in here. And um, they talk about the Spaniards taking the Aztec gold, but uh, he ends up giving the go back to the Aztecs, and because of that, it's a safe port of call, and Long John makes it seem like, oh, that was my plan all the time. And um, because this is a comic code authority approved book, you know, the violence is very toned down, as it's a lot more toned down than I think it would have been normally, since this is a pirate story. Uh, then we have the Paquique Pirate, and this is a Captain Kidd story, uh, basically some about a writer, about a wanting to play about Captain Kidd and gives you a little bit of history about Captain Kidd, which is kind of interesting. Um, let me have Cap, uh, Long John Silver and the Lady, and this is about Long John Silver and the different lady, uh, finding a lady pirate, and some of the crew deserting him and going on an adventure, and taking the treasure with them, but um, Long John's actually okay with the crew leaving him because they found, you know, Women, they're gonna leave the treasure to start their own life and everything, and yeah. In fact, in the first story, which I did kind of skip, sorry about that, which is Long John Silver and the Island of Evil, Evil Island. In a lot of these stories, they actually play Long John Silver out to be more heroic and noble than he's been portrayed in a lot of the other stories. Uh, so I don't know if in the movie he was portrayed to be more heroic than he is in this. And then the last story is going to be, is the Captain Kidd story. Where Captain Kidd is, uh, we meet this character. Um, Wayne Heron, who steals some money and frames uh, Captain Kidd for it. Of course, Captain Kidd hears of this. Also, he murders his friend. Captain Kid hears this and decides to take revenge, and well, let's just say it doesn't end well for him. Overall, the stories are fun and entertaining, and it's a unique twist on the pirate concept. Not a lot of blood, but a good amount of action. Overall, fun read, 5 out of 5. You can pick this up pretty cheap on Amazon. I highly recommend picking it up, especially if you're into pirate stories. It's worth a read. Alright, like I said, if you, need, if you need some more pirate adventure in your life, then check out the American Samurai Pirate Adventures playlist. There's some more comic reviews. And there's Jeremy talking about 
his review of the Black Freight of Tales of the Black Freighter. Until next time, this is the American Samurai saying set sail for adventure with the American Samurai and Jeremy Diceman, and we'll see you next time for the next Port of Call. Mihardis, yo ho.